Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. So as many of you guys know, I bought a BMW S1000RR. And I did say, we were gonna get going onto the videos that matters most to many people. And my whole plan with this S1000RR is to show everyone that you do not need to go to the dealers with your BMW S1000RR and pay for everything. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can connect an OBD tool up to your S1000RR, regardless if it's 2010 or it's even 2025. Because on the later models, they use a different OBD system to the ones on the 2010. And I'm gonna be explaining all that to you in this video and showing you how to connect it all up. Because as many of you guys know, who already know from cars, I've got every single tool. So there's nothing I cannot do with a bike to a car regarding BMW. And if you don't have the cable, I'm also gonna show you how you can connect it up a lot easier to any OBD cable that you have or any scan tool to be able to read the BMW bikes. So let's get onto this video. Okay guys, so if you'll see right here, this is our seat cow. Now, to be able to gain access to what we want, we're gonna have to take this off and I'm gonna show you how to do that. Now, some of these seat cows on these bikes and other bikes are quite stiff, especially if they're not factory fitted. Um, this one is factory fitted, but some of you will go and buy an aftermarket one, which could be quite stiff. And therefore, it won't just come off that easy, but I'm gonna show you how to do that. So right now we've got the key for the bike and we're just gonna turn it just like that. And then we're just gonna hit the palm of my hand back of this, just like that. So it comes off and comes forward. Now I'm gonna sit this down. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna be looking for next. So if you look into the rear seat area here, you're gonna have your Meta alarm, which is the BMW alarm now. Um, they join forces with Meta to fit these. But you can see here, this is your alarm system. Now that's not what we're gonna gain access to. See here, this is all your plug connectors and that's for um, obviously your fuse, fuses and your rear tail lights. So you need to keep that out of the way because obviously with BMW, they put a sensor on everything that you're able to read if there's a fault anywhere um, on the rear lights or indicators, it will come up on the dash, which is very, very good. But our main focus today is gonna to be the OBD. Now, on 2010s, they have this OBD right down here where my hand's pointing, you can see it right there. Now, it is clipped in there, but a lot of people like to relocate this down the back here hidden because they think if anyone wants to get a hold of the bike, they can make a key and steal the bike, which is fair enough. It is located here in the holding clip and we can just pull it out and this is the OBD port. Now, many people are gonna to say to me, they've never seen an OBD port like that. And that's correct. They use these 2010 to 2014. From 2014, they actually changed over to a main OBD port, which is located in the same spot. Now, if we just take off that cap, you'll see that's the kind of OBD port we got. Now, you can see here, we've only got four pins, and I'm gonna be telling you why that is, and I'm gonna show you how you'll be able to get this connected up to your OBD port, because a lot of people think, damn, I ain't got the main lead for that to be able to connect to it. Well, you actually don't need to. If providing you've got an OBD cable, I'm gonna tell you how to connect this up to an OBD cable. Okay, so if you're looking at this OBD plug from this way with the orange connector facing down, if you find it, the first one up here is gonna be your ignition, okay? And now what you can do is you can get cable with just pin adapters on them or any kind of spade terminals and push them onto these pins and then you can do vice versa into your OBD um, cable, which you can easily get an OBD cable pin out online and you can read out where it all goes because everyone's different. So this one up here, the first one, is gonna be your ignition. This one down here is gonna be your 12 volt, okay? That's the 12 volt to read when the ignition's on. The one up here is going to be your ground. So it's gonna be your grounds right there. And then this one over here is gonna be the K line to be able to pick up um, all the communications between all the modules. So you're gonna to need to have the K line properly connected. Then what you're going to do is you're gonna to have to connect that backwards up to your OBD cable. Now, as I said, you only need to use pins that attach onto these pins here with any kind of wire and then just stick it into your OBD port because the OBD cables have pins that you can actually stick them into to get a reading. Now, we're not gonna be doing that, but there's a lot of people who won't be able to find the cable or source the cable. So that's what I'm telling you how you'll be able to read your BMW S1000R without buying the extra lead that you need. Now, I'm gonna show you the lead you can buy and that you can use to be able to read these. And if you are able to find it, very good. If you're not, 
then that's another way you are able to read your bikes. So this is the lead that we've got, and you can see here, this is a round connector, and then it goes in to an OBD cable. Now, what we do with this is we just put it onto here, we find the locking position like that, and we just turn it on. And now that is connected to the OBD called right here. Now, I know a lot of you are gonna be over the moon about this, me showing you this, purely because I know there's loads of S1000RRs out there that when they come out of warranty, people, you know, regular people change the oil themselves and they can't get rid of that service light. Like for instance, on this one, this one is still showing that the service is due back in 2015, because obviously when it come out of dealer warranty, so it's showing December 2015 as the service schedule hasn't been reset because nobody's been able to do it because a lot of people don't understand how to do that. So we are gonna be doing that. We've got to reset that service schedule because it's bugging me. But this is the cable you need. Now these are about 15 pound if you can find them. This is obviously the safer way to do it and obviously the better way than connecting pins up. But obviously I get if many of you can't buy it or you don't want to, then there's other ways of doing it as well. And realistically, you've just got to know how to do it. And that's it. But you can see here, it connects on very easily. And it's very secure and very safe. And now what we do is we just connect that up to our OBD port, which I'll show you. So you connect that up to your OBD port just like that. And I can use this Bimmer Geeks one. You can see there already flashed up red where it's picking up a signal. We'll take it off again, I'll show you. You'll see it flash up red here. You can see there's flashing up red. So it is reading, because for it to be glowing red, it means it's picking up signal from the bike, which is what you would expect anyway. So that means everything is working correctly. And then we just plug this into our laptop and we'll get a reading on it. Now, as I said to you, these use the BMW software and I'm gonna be showing you how to do that on another video, how to be able to clear your service light, uh, be able to update the modules and also be able to code as well. Cause obviously I wanna see what we can, what can be coded on this bike and what's outstanding. Um, so then that way I can do the videos for you guys because there's a lot I want to do with this bike. So that's how you'd connect it up. Um, and many people won't show you this. Many people ain't aware of this because again, as I said, they take it to BMW. So therefore they don't know this, but I'm going to be showing you how to do all this on another video, but this was just a video showing you where the OBD cable is located and how to connect it up. And if you do have a 2014 and up, your OBD cable will still be located down here with a cap over it. You just pull the cap up and then you put your OBD cable like this, straight on top of it inside there. Or you can take it out and do it, it's completely up to you. And that will go all the way up to 2025. So I hope this video will help many of you guys going forward now of yes, 1000 rs to know that you actually don't need the dealer at all to be able to do anything. And I have got videos that are gonna be coming up showing you how to use the software for the BMW Motorrad and how to do the things that the BMW dealer will do and they'll charge you a fortune just to be able to do it. So there you go, guys. This cable, I will link in my description box and I'll also link it in my comments for you guys to go and buy it if you do need one. So that way you can get ahead for when you see my other videos coming out regarding the software um, because I know many of you are gonna wanna follow my tutorials on how to do certain things. So I'll link it in the description box ready for you guys to follow along when I start putting the videos out. Right, guys, so there you have it. I've now shown you where your OBD port connector is on your BMW S1000RR. As I said, it's the same location for the 2010 all the way to 2025. They're always put right under the seat cowl for easy access and easy diagnostics. If BMW needs to do it, they ain't gonna put it in a hard location. They're not trying to make it um, un unfindable for people like us. They're trying to make it easy on themselves. So they're not gonna do that and make it all complicated for themselves where it's gonna require, you know, so much labor time to be able to remove something just to get to an OBD cable. So many of you guys know it's just like a car. They're just gonna pull it there and they're not expecting people to be able to know how to do anything to their bikes anyway. So they know, they know they're gonna make money regardless. But this is what I'm here for, to be able to show you how you can diagnose and clear everything yourself without the BMW dealers. And like I said, I've got a wide range of knowledge and also a wide range of tools and software for this bike that BMW won't ever let you guys with the BMW Motorrad bikes be able to see or even know about and it's why I'm here to teach you. And I know a lot of people are gonna welcome this purely because BMW charge a fortune, especially on the S1000RRs, just for them to go in to be diagnosed and be sorted and have problems fixed when you no longer will need to anymore. Thank you very much for watching guys and I hope this video will help you going forward with your BMW motor ads. Thank you very much and goodbye.